neuroplasticity. Neurons that fire together wire together. So, Pavlov's dog. Right? What was the deal with Pavlov's dog? <coughs> yeah. What happened? That's right, exactly. So, he was trained. Bell, tree, bell, tree, bell, tree. Bell is not in water. He's like, I know a tree is coming, right? Kind of a random association that doesn't necessarily have to mean anything. But that became his neurons that were firing together, wired. So neuroplasticity is super helpful when it comes time to start thinking about what are the habits we want to create. So in terms of making our intentions, at the beginning, it's going to seem really frustrating. Now, if you are wanting to start a meditation practice or, or deepen a meditation practice, Four out of five people who start meditating quit because it's too hard. The point is that it's too hard, <laughs> right? Like that's just what it is. And it is going to be absolutely brutal in the beginning and it's only gonna get a little bit easier, quite honestly. I've been meditating every day for the past decade. It gets a little bit easier, but not always, right? The point is, is that it's hard, but what it does is it increases the gray matter in your brain and it creates new <coughs> pathways. So you are making new associations with things. And so it doesn't actually matter how it goes when you are sitting there and meditating. What matters is out there, right? What matters is when you get that passive aggressive email from a coworker. Right? Maybe instead of firing something back, you can take a breath. You can decide how you want to respond rather than react. Because the response is knee jerk. Right? The response might not actually be beneficial for what you're wanting to accomplish but it's those neurons that have been wired together because they've been firing together, and so that is your habit. But when you make it the habit to step back and take a breath, you can respond in the way that makes more sense. So thinking about that in terms of whatever your resolutions are, how do you approach them in a way that you can create a new habit? so that you can do that enough times that you are actually changing your brain. You are using the neuroplasticity to make a difference so that it's not so hard.